welcome to chemistry classes now we are in the chapter periodic table in this chapter session 6 in this session we will introduce the another periodic property that is ionization potential we already discussed in the session 5 about atomic size and ionic size those are some periodic properties and we already discussed how they behave in periods and uh, groups also now we will discuss about the ionization potential so our aim is to introduce ionization potential that means what is the ionization potential and what are the factors so influences the ionization potential and how this ionization potential is behaves in periods and groups of the periodic table now what is the ionization potential ionization potential that potential means this is nothing but energy ionization energy that means if you take any neutral atom in the gaseous state or isolated state or neutral state take any element to ionize the element that means to remove the electron to get positive charge it will take some energy for the ionization of element we require some energy that energy is called ionization potential or ionization energy that means the minimum amount of energy required to remove an electron from outermost orbit that means in the atoms the electrons are arranged in the orbits if you give any energy to the element the electrons which are present in the outermost shell are removed that is called ionization the required amount of energy is called ionization potential or ionization energy take a simple example here this is our an element and some electrons are occupied in the orbits here take simple example for in the first orbit there is two electrons and in the next orbit there is eight electrons because it is second shell it can occupies eight electrons maximum in the valency shell that is third shell may occupies only one electron it can occupies around 18 electrons if we give any energy to this molecule by lightening the element or by heating the element the energy is absorbed by the valency electron and it removes from the valency shell that removing of electron causes the charge for the element that uh, neutral element becomes the ion so this process is called ionization the required amount usually represent with h nu that required amount is called ionization potential that means in the ground state to remove an electron from the outermost orbital we required some energy that energy is called ionization potential or ionization energy that means let's take m is a gaseous atom or neutral atom or isolated atom if we give some energy which is called as ionization potential or ionization energy this is also called as ionization potential represents with ip if we give ionization energy or ionization potential to this gaseous element the valency electron is removed from the element and it has a unipositive charge and one electron is removed in this process this is called ionization of element and the required amount is ionization potential now you can see this picture here this is a sodium atom which have a 11 electrons in the orbits in the first orbit uh, occupies two electrons that is 1s2 and second one occupies eight electrons that is 2s2 2p6 in the valency shell it has only one electron that is 3s1 now by giving some energy in the form of heat or in the form of lightening the element then what happens see here that is removed from the outermost shell that leads to formation of 
unipositive sodium ion for sodium in the gaseous state by taking some energy in the form of ionization potential it forms sodium positive ion and electron is released that we already see in the picture that means this ionization energy is always an energy absorbed from the outer source now if you observe this process it's always uh, need some energy if you want to remove the electron from unipositive ion that means in the last case we discussed by the removing of one electron from isolated atom it forms the unipositive ion if you want to remove another electron from unipositive ion that is m plus we need to give another ionization potential or ionization energy so in the later case it called as ionization potential or energy 1 for first case and second case it is called as ionization potential 2 when you give the required amount of energy for the unipositive ion by absorbing this energy it can form bi negative ion again it loses the electron this is called second ionization potential or second ionization energy that means the amount of energy required to remove the electron from the unipositive ion is called second ionization potential that equation is represented like this then what are the units of ionization potential the units of ionization potential usually represents with the electron volts per atom are in the kilocalories that is 23.06 kilocalories per mole are in the joules you can represents 96.5 kilojoules per mole that means the energy can be represented in various forms that is electron volts or kilocalories or kilojoules now is there any relation between the first ionization or second ionization or third ionization third ionization nothing but if you remove the electron from the bi positive ion that means take a simple example here this is the bi positive ion in a gaseous form if you want to remove another electron it can form the tri positive ion for this purpose we need to give some another energy that is ionization energy 3 or ionization potential 3 that means keep on giving the energy to the corresponding element it can remove the all electrons from the shells so increasing the energy the removing of electrons is also occur but is there any relation between the ionization potential 1 and 2 and 3 yes there is some relation because you already known for a neutral atom or gaseous atom if you give the ionization potential 1 or ionization potential it can forms the unipositive ion initially this is the first case now what happens it already forms the unipositive ion that means here the number of electrons is always less compared to the number of protons in the positive ion so the attracting power of nucleus towards the electrons is more for the positive ions so when the electron are strictly attracted towards the nucleus removing of electron from the outermost shell is difficult so in this case we need to apply the more energy in order to remove the electron from the unipositive ion that means to remove the electron again from unipositive ion we need to give some ionization energy or potential which is represents with ip2 it should be more from ip1 because of the unipositive charge of an ion it has a more attraction on the outermost electrons so to remove or to resist that attracting power of nucleus we need to apply the more energy in that case that 
ionization potential 2 is more compared to the ionization potential 1. Then what about the ionization potential 3? It is again more compared to the ionization potential 2. That is, take a simple example again from this. From bi positive ion, if you want to remove another electron which forms the tri positive ion by losing one electron, again it gets higher positive charge. That means the attracting power of nucleus on electrons again increase. So in order to remove the electron again, we need to apply the more energy compared to the second case. So this ionization potential or energy of 3 is more compared to the second. And ionization potential of 2 is more compared to the first case. So keep on increasing or keep on removing the electron from the isolated atom. The nuclear charge of attractions or the nuclear power of attractions is increases. When this attraction power is increases, to remove the electron from the outer shell is difficult. So, you need to apply the more energy. So, with the increase of charge on the element, the removing of the electron from the outer shell is difficult. So, the ionization potential is increases to keep on the removing of electrons that you can see in this relation. Ionization potential is smaller than ionization potential 2 and uh, it is smaller than ionization potential 3. That means that you can say ionization potential energy or ionization potential that is always less than compared to the other. That means keep on increasing the charge on the element the removing of electron is difficult.